Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can use the event system in Unity to interact with text objects in TextMesh Pro. Now, over the past few months, uh, several users have been asking how to do such a thing. And my answer has always been the same, which is, well, you can use the text info class in TextMesh Pro, which contains information about the text object. And inside this text info class, you have a bunch of substructures which contain information about every character, every word, every line, uh, as well as the mesh itself. So in this video, I want to go over uh, first uh, this little text info debug tool. It's a simple script that I created uh, for myself to help me visualize uh, basically the information contained in the uh, text info class to make sure that, hey, it's accurate and then I can use it for my own uh, needs. Now, I've already uh, published that little script on the TextMesh Pro user forum. Now, I also created that script for a second reason, which is to show everyone how they can use and access the information in this text info class. So uh, just going over that briefly, in the text info class, you have uh, different substructures. One of them uh, is the character info and it contains information about every character contained in the text object. So for each character, there's information about what the character is, which one it is in the series, like the index of the character within the string. It contains basically the style, the position bottom left and top right of the character. It also contains the vertex index of the character so that let's say if you were on the letter A and you wanted to know well in the mesh array or in the UI vertices array where what vertices is that character using that's contained in the character info. Now similar to that there's the word info which has information about each word. Um, if you notice here, like the period is not included in the last word because it's not part of that word itself. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind when you're going to start doing uh, select, trying to select words. Well, remember that punctuation will be excluded. Uh, maybe it shouldn't, but right now it is. So the word info contains information about the first and last character, how many characters in a word, and again, bottom left and top right. Uh, stuff like baseline and whatever, but it does not contain the word itself. And the only reason why it does not contain the word is simply because at runtime I would have to create a string which would generate allocation and garbage collection and so on and so forth. So I provide the information to the first character, last character, and if you want the word, then you can certainly, using that, go fetch it and put it in a string if you want. Uh, then there's the line info which shows each line uh, and then for example each line contains like where the baseline is, where the ascender is, the descender and that helps you know how tall each line is. And there's more stuff like there's the mesh info which if you're using the normal text mesh pro component which uses the mesh renderer then it's using a mesh and so the mesh info dot mesh would contain the mesh. If you're using the text mesh pro UI uh, component, then it's using the canvas renderer and the canvas renderer uses the UI vertices array and well it's a UI vertex array and in there you have the information again where the vertices are, vertex color, UVs and so on and so forth. So that's uh, the information for this text info. So what I'm doing is I'm using this again to visualize my information and for testing. So for example, if I change character spacing, you can see how the little yellow boxes move around. Uh, so if I do stuff like uh, italic, you can see how it responds to it. The blank spaces here are actually showing where the space is. Uh, you know, it doesn't draw anything, it has no geometry, but it's still contained in the character info so you know where it is. Uh, so if I play with alignment, you can see how everything moves around as expected and so on and so forth. Now, moving on. So using the event system in Unity, I created this uh, little script called Word Highlighter. Unfortunately, I didn't give it the right name, but it shows my intent. Uh, right now, the Word Highlighter only deals with characters, but what it does is it, uh, if I bring up Visual Studio briefly in the background, you can see uh, you know, tons of stuff, uh, and I'll publish that script once I'm done, but it does subscribe to the, uh, so it, 
inherits from the different interfaces and it basically gets the on pointer enter, on pointer exit, and on pointer click. And on on pointer click, I basically get the information as to where the click occurred. And I use that to figure out inside the text info class. And specifically right now with this example, the character info, which character the mouse is over. So if I enter play mode, and we take a look at this, uh, this is a very simple example, but it shows how I can click on a character, and as I do, it assigns a random color to wherever I'm clicking. All right, so that one's kind of... So if I click away, you can see it's not uh, responding. If I click, like, close, it's very accurate in terms of its tracking. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to make sure it could do is if I go here and rotate this thing, like so, it still tracks, you know, regardless of the canvas mode, meaning if it's in overlay mode, in camera space mode, or in world space, so it will still respond and know what characters you're clicking on. So the implementation that I've, basically that's it for this like short little video, but the implementation that I did and how this is done uh, can be easily modified to, instead of getting the information for each character, look at the information for each word or each line and so on and so forth. And I do intend to provide an example of all of the above and put those on a website so you can use that to modify and adapt it in any way that you want. I'm also doing this to basically resume uh, getting the runtime text input component done for Text Mesh Pro. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'm doing that. And I am also doing this so I can add support for links as opposed to, so now the text info class, uh, I'm thinking it's gonna have the same information which is character info, word info, line info, and it will also have link info. So, so if you have like three links in the text, then the link info is gonna contain an array of three elements which has information about each of the link. And then similar to how you interact with words, you'll probably be able to just drag a script saying, you know, link something, and it will allow you to interact with those links. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please uh, feel free to post. And basically, thank you for watching.